tension and heartbreak, we give thanks on this Thanksgiving Eve that college basketball is back. The women's basketball season tipping off right now on the ACC Network as Duke University welcomes in the Lancers of Longwood from the Big South in their season opener. Pam Ward, along with former Wake Forest standout, the China Rock. Tennessee, the main reason was because she wanted to be a coach and she wanted to learn from the best, and she played for the legendary Pat Summit. She's had trouble with this Duke defense so far, but she has all four of Longwood's points. De Jesus, the freshman with the miss. Akilah Smith able to come up with the rebound for Longwood. Good hustle, keeps it going, and then the basket by Akilah Smith. And that's what Longwood is going to have to do, hustle for second chance opportunities. They're not getting their first offensive look. Duke has done a nice job of containing them. When you are on the road, those are the types of plays you got to make. De Jesus, a good look. And as expected, we're seeing some changes to the Lancers' defense. That is one mark of Rebecca Tillett. They will play some zone, may play some trapping zone, will play some man-to-man, -man, try to keep Duke off balance. Kill Smith could not get the roll as she was guarded by Akinbodi James. And De Jesus, the freshman point guard, slows things down. And then puts up the three. Cool, calm, and collect. One of the things Carol Lawson said she, what she loved about DeJesus is that she has poise as a freshman. Can you imagine playing for a point guard like Carol Lawson starting in your first college game? The nerves. Now DeJesus comes out of the pack trying to lead things on the break. And she draws the foul. Venema got a piece of up on the play. One of the smallest players on the floor, and Tradasia Smith gets inside, and they get an easy two. And right here, De Jesus with a nice step. And you mentioned that Carol Lawson has been impressed with what the true freshman has picked up. She said it was kind of nice. She's a blank slate coming in right from high school, not coming in with uh, the other veteran Duke. Very impressive debut for the freshman from Valencia, California. No yips for her on her first collegiate game coming into Cameron. De Jesus, the freshman point guard, checking back in for the Blue Devils. Williams from Boykin last year. Looking forward to what she will do this season. Yeah, she went almost a full calendar year without playing before she came back last year. And out, as you mentioned, with the sore knee, something that Duke can ill afford already. Not a deep team. That's a nice look inside. And the finish for Woke. Good patience by Duke against that zone defense. Moving the ball. Look at that good seal. When you're playing against the zone in the post, you know where the next defender is coming from. So that's almost a pre-seal on the defense. And that high low, good size on the interior, 6-6 for Woke. Three-pointer off the mark, but then sneaking in to get the follow. Boy, Jada Patrick having a... ...is capable of coming off the screen. She can drain the long ball. But give credit to Duke and how... It Finally, it pays off. Odell with the finish, the senior from Richmond. Screening action here by Duke. And Woke on the move. We haven't seen a lot of that from her in her limited time so far in her Duke career. But I like her getting out, setting screens again. There is no one that can compete in terms of size. She is 0 for 6 from the floor. And a point guard for Longwood. Longwood back in their man-to-man, -man, showing a little pressure, not allowing Duke to really move the ball and turn over there by the Blue Devils. Deja Smith looking for McMakin. That was a magical combination last year. Again, the leading assist maker in the league to the leading scorer in the league. Odell can't get that one to follow, and Patrick brings it up. The Jesus in. Number 37 overall recruit according to ESPNW. 
to Jesus to score the last seven points. Four off the back iron. And Jada Patrick has been very active for Duke. Got the rebound. Yeah. Jada Claude on the court. A player that rebound per minute can go with the best of them. Hasn't played a lot of minutes in her career at Duke as a contributor, but when she's on the court, she's very physical and can get to the boards. Yep, that was indeed Jada Claude who got that last rebound. There's a lot of Jadas and Jades on this <laughs> team. That's yeah, when well, we were on the call the with line. Kara, she was referring to them as JP and, you know, Jade Williams was the only one I remember her referring to as Jade. Good so hand off there. McMakin just couldn't get it to go. Well, what a Boy, frustrating yeah. day for her. Just 2 of 10 now from the floor. Averaged almost 20 points per game in Big South competition last year. But we've seen this happen a number of times when teams come to Cameron and your leading score just struggles early. Those bright lights, whoo, brightest on this stage. And even without the crowd, it's still a, a magical atmosphere at Cameron. Honest she also only has two assists. Boy, <laughs> the freshman continues to impress to Jesus. We've seen a lot of different moves from her on the offensive end. She's got a complete arsenal. This is already a, a dozen points, as you see, in her collegiate debut. Longwood able to answer, and Carol Lawson, the new head coach for Duke, talked about how unflappable seemed like nothing seemed to phase to Jesus, and she's been showing that so far in her first ever collegiate game. Good child able to get inside for the inside the lane for the jumper. But Akilah Smith trying to make up for it. Yeah, Rouse now playing professionally in Germany. Long three. Hits iron. Early shot by Ship, but she's been showing some confidence in her scoring ability this afternoon. Her collegiate debut as well. Redshirted last year. Nice pass on the cut to the basket. Woke with the nice assist. To Anastasieska. Who's from good Macedonia. Chemistry. We're seeing some good chemistry from this Duke offense and their patience and their passing and they're finding the open man, but also moving without the ball. Well, Smith put on the brakes very quickly when she looked up and saw Woke. And a chance for a three-point play for the Lancers. And watch scoring offense. It's not going to be easy. Right here, just makes a basket cut. Duke has been denying her all. So McMakin at the line. It was a very late recruit. Did not participate in the AAU, AAU circuit. And in fact, communicate to pick up the ball. Another change in defense here by, Long, by Longwood. Half, a little half-court zone. Keela Smith just picked up the foul that sends Goodchild to the line. One of two Australians on this team this year, along with Anastasieska, moved to Gray when she was four from Macedonia. And the shot clock is off now for Longwood. Asia Smith trying to find McMakin, who was not able to gather in the pass, and now a chance for Duke to cap off the half. Jesus, hold on to it just a tick too long, but Duke.